Cole YouTube, this is Dakota from Botai Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction. It is a whole album reaction to the new A Cloudy Sky album. There must be something here. Uh, I'm a fan of Cloudy Sky. Uh, you guys have uh, <laughs> very, for a long time, pushed this on me and been like, you got to listen to this. And so I have. I did a first listen a while ago, and then I did album reaction to um, the last LP, and I really liked it. And so Cloudy Sky, I really enjoy their stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of what they put out, but um, I, I feel like they're like more lesser known in the scene. That they're, they're not that big, only about like 30,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. I know that's obviously not the tell-all, end-all, uh, but very much a bit of a cult following from a Cloudy Sky for sure. Uh, there's a dedicated fan base without a doubt. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to do this. This is the fourth studio album from a Cloudy Sky, so I'm excited. Let's hop into it. This is going to be a longer video, obviously, because it's the whole album. So without any further ado, let's hop into it with the first track. This is Relay. Here we go. A lot of you guys are saying that this is like the best A Cloudy Sky yet, like this is like album of the year for you already, so uh, we'll see how much I feel about that, but yeah, I'm excited. I know how this will end. Oh, I had a dream of the clouds I draw with me, so I turn to the ground. And I saw that you a constant guitar. Beautiful outro is what I would expect. Nice little violin. I'm assuming this is oh, probably cello actually. Nice little water foley. Uh, but okay, Relay, the first track of the record. Um, that feels like a quintessential A Cloudy Sky track um, with the kind of long build or the, yeah, the, the long build into the just crashing kind of just like constant beat, just this. It's just this the whole time. You got that with the drop. Um, 
with the with the 808 hits and then you have it with the um the earlier on the guitar strumming just like just this constant just uh just energy a pace as if it was like a relay race of sorts that you got to keep pace and go i, I don't know maybe forced there but <laughs> um yeah uh so not too bad uh i'm i'm taking a look at the lyrics and, and paying attention to where i think they're where he's trying to go stylistically here and so um yeah i <laughs> classic a cloud sky is like just a little like uh, like end of the world doomerish uh, always but also like a little bit of hope in the end um i mean it literally starts with i know how this will end <laughs> just like oh okay 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 Okay. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, this is a quintessential a cloudy sky. So uh, let's hop into the next tracks. Um, the next three actually are ones that came out previously are, are singles that were released within surface flares and team. Uh, so we will listen to them, uh, fully here, uh, because I know I've done reactions to them earlier, but, um, yeah, let's do it straight through here. So here we go. This is surface. song the whole time. I really should have. This is this is a good track. I love how much he plays around these like string instrumentation. The string instrumentation like it's so beautiful. It really adds a whole layer of sound design. Okay, that was Surface, uh, the second track from uh, the album. And uh, this was, the, I want to say, the first or second single? Am I crazy? I can't remember which one this was, but I think it was the second signal. Sing, si single. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great track. Um, this one is another, like, it feels like, it feels like quintessential A Cloudy Sky. It's the, the kind of... Um, it's like his, his vocal delivery is both like a monotone and it's really well delivered and, and has a ton of range to it. It's like this weird in between. And also the vocals are like potentially a little bit more muddied in the in the mixing um, and everything's just playing off each other one at a time. Like it's just like this is like very just like it's just it's like you're running through like a like a forest on like an acid trip sort of thing for the most part, like a good one, um, which I don't have experience with. But um <laughs> The, uh, yeah, just like, just like the feeling of just like running through like some 
like like I don't even know some just storybook storyland for something like that and just everything is so bright and cheery and and uh, happy is really just the best way to put it and so um, yeah really great track uh, I'm sure you guys have already had your thoughts on that one um, one that I think is a solid one I do think I like the next one coming up a little bit more but uh, yeah love that love that finale in the end too so uh, but let's move right along because we've heard all these songs before uh, here we go this is flares <laughs> I hate all of you! <laughs> Which I think this one is the like the single of the record, if anything, I would say. This is the one that I think resonated most with other people, and I, I think it did for me in particular. Um, yeah, I I really big fan of this one. Uh, if anything, my only gripe with it is that the the how much he stylizes the the muddied vocals just a, li a touch too much for me just a touch too much um muddiness and and not enough uh clarity because if i'm not reading the lyrics alongside um it is it's hard to really catch the storyline here and the storyline is it's it's personal it's deep it, it's a lot of the 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 struggle of mental health and the the uh, your inner inner critic and all this stuff. And so, it, like, Iconis guy is tackling a lot of real heavy topics here and a lot of stuff that's really personal to him. And I think the... the, the my only gripe is that the muddiness of the vocals is maybe just, like, it's not getting that uh, 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 enough across as much. Although it is working sonically with the rest of the record and also it helps to kind of, like, say that, oh, my thoughts and my what I say is getting... It is getting muddied down. It is getting um, worn down by the world around. And so I get it. I understand it stylistically. It's, it is one of the things that's like a little bit more dense, and that's why I think a lot of people really latch on to a cloudy sky, um, and and just love all that they put out. And so uh, it is a, a it is a definitely unique flair um, <laughs> uh, of a cloudy sky. So, uh, but let's hop into the final single that we had already heard before. This is uh, Team. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm realizing now just how much more, like, how much more raw this sounds than his other records. Like, it, it feels more, 
not natural, not quite the right word. Raw probably is the right word. A lot less like, at least so far, lost a lot less like explicitly electronic elements or like indie-tronic elements. A lot more just like pure instrumentation. Yeah, this song is is probably the most uh, explicit in its storytelling, I think, at least for me personally, and uh, how like just like sad it is to some extent. So the whole the, the point of team here is that it's it or at least in my interpretation of it is it's it's a relationship that you you want to make it work. You're trying to want to be a team, but it just it doesn't, and that it all comes to a culmination in that final line of the song where it says our team won't be the exception. It says, despite all my good intentions, our team won't be the exception. It's all these reasons why things should work or we should work on this or this is going to happen or things get tough. We can do this, all this kind of stuff. But then, nope, the things change too much. Our, our lives quickly shifting. Um, and you know you say this time will be different, but in the end, you're just, you're not the exception. And so uh, it, it's a harsh reality. It's a one that's really hard to <laughs> learn for a lot of people, I think. And uh, yeah, so this is this is just one of those really, really tough ones, but a great one, uh, a really, really solid track. Another one that I really appreciate. Um, I really do love uh, the, the singles from this record, I think more so than anything, but uh, let's head into some new tracks this time. We finally got some new stuff. Oh, I guess Relay was, but um, yeah, so we got more tracks here and Depths is up next, which is technically the one that was like released as the one on release radar and stuff. So this is like the like hidden single of the album, I would say, um, most most do that have like a release uh, release single if that makes sense so uh, here we go this is depths another longer one 540 Oh, this one feels a lot more somber, especially coming out of team. Just the tone of this one is way more like reflective and intimate. I'm intrigued to see what the the narrative skip will be with this one. Fascinating track right now. No, something's taken over. I love the dueling guitars here. I think it really encapsulates the two conflicting relationships here, or the one relationship to two people. Thank you. 
Wow. Okay. That song was like deep. That song had like layers and layers of just a lot going on. That felt like a part two of Team, and and not like it was uh, it was not sonically, but at least narratively of this this feeling of two ships kind of crossing paths without really feeling like a relationship works between the two and there just isn't a yeah they're, they're just things don't work out and so i just particularly love the lyricism of this track i i really love the the fact that um he establishes like this just whatever each like verse kind of thing is about each each stanza and then like is very poetic about it after it's like love and then i like i tried to warn you there's a pit in my stomach and i should have listened faith uh, you must have lost it when i let you down i'll find my way out like it's just like beautiful writing of just like establishing the entire way it's love faith um take truth stay futures and no even at the end which is a fascinating way to kind of end that but yeah really really fascinating i think i that's my, probably my favorite track of the record so far up to this point um it, it feels just like daunting and and like anxious but also like you things can be resolved but they don't get resolved and there's a lot going on and a lot that i really enjoyed i i don't know if it's intentional but i really do feel like the um the these like dueling guitars it's just really simple acoustic just like uh just notes throughout um there, there's two often happening the entire time and that feels like to me the two people this is the two different this is the the person one or the person two in the relationship and just how they're like they're like kind of on beat together but then they like get off every now and then they like kind of come back together again and then it's slightly off and it's just like a different note one's a little bit louder than the other and then one takes over and then one goes back down and it, it, it feels like uh, an allegory for this whatever relationship this broken relationship that's not working for a cloudy sky and so i don't know if that's intentional uh but it does feel like that to me that is i feel like that's something that i picked up on at least early on so i would love to know if that was i mean i don't know intentional in some extent but uh maybe it's just great sound design uh, that <laughs> happens to be incredible as well but um yeah really like depths uh really like depths and this this record is really um uh just like it is gut-wrenching to some extent um so i'm excited to get into the next one so uh, here we go though this is uh this is the sh oh no not the shortest one technically this is uh quicksand here we go Okay. Okay. We've fallen through the depths and now we're in the quicksand? Got like a very like jungle-ish vibe to it. Is this the palate cleanser for the album? Like is this the the interlude of sorts. This is, okay, this is one of the ones that I feel like every one of these, like, Indietronica synth pop kind of albums have. I don't know what it is. Every one of them has this, like, just absolutely balls to the walls, nuts, <laughs> like, middle interlude track that is, like, uh, it feels like a palate cleanser of sorts. It just is one to just, <laughs> like, <laughs> we, were, we were somewhere, and now we're going a totally different direction, and so here we need to just, like, brah or like take a quick interlude of sorts and so uh it's a fun track i actually did quite enjoy it um but i, I don't think it's one that i am like absolutely <laughs> like, it's just so funny going from like three really 
dense narrative, like really heart wrenching stuff. And then just, and so I'm sure there's lots of intentional meaning behind that, that, um, we will soon discover and, or, uh, will with a couple, um, listens, but, uh, fun one. Yeah. I don't have too much to say about it. Great production, really fancy, just absolutely blaring, distorted, um, synths and kicks and, uh, it's <laughs> and guitars more than anything. And, uh, it's fun. So, uh, but let's hop into the next track. This is fossils. Oh. <laughs> I love the dichotomy of going from what we just went to, to truly a palate cleanser. I love how roomy the kicks are. I love a Cloudy Sky's kicks. They just feel so like large and in charge. Okay, uh, Fossils, another track that I'm really digging. Um, it, this one, a very different track than anything else, I would say, uh, sort of, in <laughs> relatively, I would say, to the rest of the record, uh, because it does have that kind of long build-in into the big crash and chorus with his kind of vocals and that you normally get from most of the, the tracks other than Quicksand, I guess. But um, yeah, one that's just a little bit more on the shorter side and is a lot more uh, exploratory in sound rather than narrative here, uh, because there are those what these those four lines I, I don't i don't know what they mean at this point uh, after all the good is left i won't be your argument under faults i'm caving in i don't know how i fall for this great poetry uh i don't exactly know what it means off the top of my head especially trying to dive into something that potentially um uh, rich in meaning uh, up to this point right now but uh, that's something i will dive into later at least but um yeah great great track stylistically i again i love those kicks from a cloudy sky that you just feel so girthy and roomy and you feel like you're in like a massive room uh and it's just like blaring you can just like feel it through you um and so big fan of that um but uh, let's hit in we got three more tracks left um here we go this is ditch <laughs> a little bit more poppy if off the top. Fever coming down. Let us in the crowd hand by fingers. And I don't think we'll make it out. No, I hope for all that's after. Excited for all this around. Beautiful stranded creatures. Motionless. 
Okay, Ditch. Uh, that is like by far the most like poppy thing I think I've heard from a cloudy sky yet. I want to say I don't know if that's too much of a bold statement, but um, obviously it's not really a poppy track. But just relatively speaking, it's got all the structure of a more commercial sounding like indie tronic synth pop track. Uh, it obviously has all the stylization of the distorted, um, like just distortion layer across everything, the same vocal delivery that a cloudy sky normally does. And um, yeah, it just, it, it is more, a little bit more like a, yeah, this is a, like a lighter, just more easy to get into kind of style track. And uh, one that I enjoy, enjoyed, I thought it was a good change of pace for the, the record too. And uh, one that I think a lot of non-traditional Cloudy Sky listeners can really get into. I think this is one that I can like play for like my wife, for example, and be like, oh, and she might be like, okay, I actually don't mind this. And then I then you get into the, the real stuff. You know what I mean? Like, not that this isn't real, but you know what I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I enjoyed it. Uh, maybe not as much as the other ones. It, it, ironically, in, on a, another, in another twist, it felt a little bit more basic to some extent. It didn't feel like it had those big crash and movements, but uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. So... Uh, now we've got the longest song of the record at 6.52. Here we go. This is Left. I think there's another vocalist on this one, too. Thank you. 
okay, that is a real heavy one, a real rich one. Uh, first of all, production-wise, uh, another one that I love. It feels like this is just quintessential classic A Cloudy Sky, uh, right up the alley. It is just, yeah, it's a great mix of everything. It's what we've been hearing for the last uh, eight songs on the record, um, but just kind of brought up to almost another level uh, at this point. Um, to this, this feels like a concluding track of sorts um, because of specifically what is said lyrically here. Um, I'm, I'm still a little trying to figure out everything. Obviously, this is my first listen and everything but a lot of it the doubled up vocals with um, Lily Elwood, it looks like, um, on Genius right now looking at lyrics, is it says that it's, uh, um, as Claudia goes one verse, and then they're kind of like both sort of unsure about the relationship. It seems like Claudia Sky is, is more so like, yes, I'm in, and the and the Lily character here, the other person in this relationship, is a little more hesitant, um, a little more unsure, a little bit more, I would say, I don't, distraught maybe not the right word, but just, yeah, uh, confused on, on what to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, uncertain, like wanting to, wanting to, I guess, pursue this relationship, but also feeling like they can't, excuse me. But, uh, in the end, it kind of just comes down to a cloud sky saying, well, also going solo and, and doing it him, himself and not having the, the secondary lyrics to follow up. Uh, and then going, uh, I, I know you now and I'm walking back. I close my eyes and my arms spread out, assuming that you've got the point, you've hit the point where at least my interpretation so far is that, um, yeah, you, you, the eyes closed because it's the trust. It's the complete trust and full commitment uh, and arms out knowing that you will, I guess, be embraced um, in the end, uh, that it will turn out good. Um, at least that's my interpretation of it. I, they, I'm, I'm open to hearing more. And obviously, as I look through this more, I, I might need some more interpretation of it. But um, yeah, just like really, really like dense, poetic narrative uh, lyricism here, which I know is why a lot of people love A Cloudy Sky. Uh, and so uh, let's head into the final track, though. Um, the end is ends, I guess. So uh, here we go. This is the final track, Ends. Something underneath Boils up of water I will drink fascinating end uh to the whole record uh oh man i mean it's 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 so dense and it feels like i need another like full run through of like and watching like a three hour long video essay online about what this album fully means and the meaning behind it but um yeah uh the, the something very distinct about this final line, i'm not even sure if i'm right about the last song anymore because um th this feels like another like uh we tried it but things didn't work kind of um song and this is the end of it and so uh i do wonder if the turnaround disappearing line is the is meant to mimic the like you you turned around with arms open but 
it disappeared like it, it still didn't work it didn't it didn't happen it, it, it didn't work it didn't do it you weren't there kind of thing um, and then in the end, it was just the the line twice of, uh, don't you see that I'm trying or don't you see that I was trying? Um, and so I think that it's like, uh, this is the uh, the the end. This is the the end of whatever this team was, uh, whatever this relationship was. It, it, I, I am trying. What's trying uh, in the end? It's just like uh, I, I the, the recognition, the final end nail point period to the end of the whole record is the, the acceptance at the very end. I, I was not an I am trying and so yeah uh whew, uh <laughs> okay album as a whole uh let's talk about this thing as a whole yeah this thing is crazy I keep using the word dense but it's crazy dense it is very in depth in its lyricism and its narratives and there's lots of production elements to go alongside with each of the narrative through lines and and this whole storyline of what to me, sounds like a relationship. I don't know if it's a relationship with self or if it's a relationship with a, a partner or what it is exactly or family, but it is a it's it's a it's some sort of inner relationship or some relationship within um, a cloudy sky here or w- with with a cloudy sky and and the the recognition that you're trying and things try to work out and they do work out for a little bit and then they don't and then you think you know a person and then you don't and then in the end. The, the final recognition, that period at the end of ends of the, I, I, I was trying, I'm, I'm not trying anymore. I, or I am trying in the past and I, I am recognition. I'm recognizing now that I, this is over. This is the end of whatever this is. This is, it's time to move on. It's time to think about a new future. It's, it's, and that's also echoed in the, in the line two of the, um, I'll make it far, but, and then they're saying, I'll find you in another place. And so you'll move on and things will go past, um, but you're not going to be the same as you was before. You'll be in a different place, both, um, I don't know, mentally, relationship, relationship wise, physically, just, you'll, you're going to make it, but you'll just be different. You'll be separated. You'll be apart. So, um, yeah, uh, production wise, the whole album is fantastic. I really love it. Uh, I love the intentional kind of distortion and muddiness of a lot of it. It really goes hand in hand with the storytelling of the record of saying the, like, <laughs> of, of saying that this is like, I feel like I'm not being heard in this relationship of sorts. And then literally drowning out the vocals is, is brilliant. It's well done. Um, and I just, I cannot give enough credit to a cloudy sky for this record. I think it's fantastic. Um, there, it's just it's one of those things. Like, yes, it it is a long listen. Um, I think you, forty five minutes isn't that long, actually. But um, you can listen to it front to back. Uh, these are one of my favorite albums where you can listen to it front to back and, and get a whole storyline. Or you can listen to individual elements and really personalize them for your own story and what you want to hear in a certain moment or um, yeah, anything like that. So, uh, man, a cloudy sky. I think. Cool. I, I haven't given his old records a ton of listens, but I, I would be inclined to say that this is his best yet. Um, I would be inclined to say that. So uh, I feel like after years and years of years and years of working at it, um, it's just getting better and better and better and uh, into this culmination of there must be something here. So um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And if you stuck around for the whole video, oh my goodness, thank you very much. This is a long one. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys have to say in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Botan Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.